Hey everybody, I'm APH and welcome back to my guide for the farthest frontier. Today kind of wraps up my guide series and today we talk about the wagon shop, the temporary shelter and mines and work camps. Getting started, we're going to start off with the wagon shop. Now the wagon shop itself builds wagons for a total of 20 planks, but to build that you need to go to your tier 2 storage and it costs a total of 35 planks, 5 stone and 80 labor and this will allow you to construct them. Now it defaults to having only one worker and this will build one wagon once you hire up the second one it will build a second wagon if you notice that the door is closed it means the wagon's out and in use if you're noticing the door is open and the wagon is parked inside it means that your wagon is not in use if the wagons are not in use you probably do not need to add any more if the door is closed and the wagons are constantly out you may need to add a couple more into your settlement that brings us into temporary shelters now temporary shelters themselves. I'm going to go ahead and go out to a work site and kind of show you kind of my setup and then we're going to talk about them. Temporary shelters are used in the event of extreme conditions. Under a houses, a tier two building, the temporary shelter, as soon as it decides to load the tooltip, costs a total of 20 labor and 20 logs. This gives a temporary shelter for anybody working at a work camp. Now work camps themselves, to me work camps are any of the clay or sand pit, the three mines that would be coal, gold, or iron, and the work camp itself, which harvest stone or wood. You can use these for things like the hunter or the gatherer and fishers and anytime you're going to have your people out in the, the extreme conditions. With the temporary shelter you do want to build it a little bit away from the clay pits just because I noticed that the desirability does affect the temporary shelter and if it's too close they don't seem to live there. On top of that I do recommend building a basic well so that your wagon doesn't have to transfer for that out as your wagon will transfer the food out to the shelter. From there, we need to talk about work camps. There are three different types of work camps to me. They are located as tier two resources, and that would be the work camp itself, taking a total of 30 labor and 20 logs. This will harvest stone and wood, and it harvests them within a radius. You can move around that radius, but I recommend not having it too far from the work camp. From there, we have the clay pit and the sand pit, and they cost a total of 30 labor, 15 logs, and 10 planks. And then we have the three mines. Now the three mines are gold, iron, and coal, and they all cost 30 labor and 20 planks. Now if we were to place a mine, what we'd be looking for is one of the nodes. You can see these nodes by pressing F4. It will hide them, and there's three total toggles. One is off. The first shows you where the node is. The second shows you the amount. Then we would just simply build it within the gray area. And you can see that it is color coded. The dark gray is full. The light gray, almost kind of a blue tint, is iron. And then the yellow is gold. Now things to note, the mines will harvest the correct thing. So if I was to build one of the coal mines over here, it simply would not work. But placing it over here would. We'll go ahead and drop one over here. And then then we're going to talk about the setup that I would do for this coal mine. So the first thing I would do is I would go ahead and build in the houses. I would go ahead and build a temporary shelter and I would build it just past the road. Apparently that area is not flat enough. So we'll go a little bit further out and then I would build a well to go with it. Just kind of throw it kind of wherever, kind of nearby. Things to note about this. You're going to notice that I have no storage here. If I placed a stockyard here, instead of them delivering all the resources to my town via the wagon, Wagon, they would deliver them directly to the stockyard here. I hope this helps you guys out. Leave me a comment down in the description if you think I missed anything. We will see you in the next series.